Honestly, the one part I really look forward is funny the most difficult, but it's it's like a, a ride on a, on a roller coaster. It's like the end of the second act. If I describe, it's it's very quick. It it it's on the border of the voices, so you have to go down, you have to go up. It's it's a very big jumps are in it, and the tempo is is really like a hell ride, and it feels like you cannot go back. You know, once you're in, you have just to go. Yes, I don't think you have to be afraid. It's like, for me, it's like a big hypnose. So the whole piece is like more, it's, it's like a deep meditation. So let yourself draw in into this very slow pace, but all in a sudden you feel it's right. It's right and it's right that it goes so long because it, it does go long, but it doesn't feel in the end. If you really give yourself into that pace. Um, there, there are two layers. I mean, first the musical one, which is it's written very difficult. So in the first act you are a mezzo, in the second you are from a mezzo to a big soprano, you are everything. So you have to, to, to really know what you're doing in between. Um, and then of course acting-wise it's, it's challenging because he, she has so many layers, um, yeah, so many women in her and yeah, so many facets. But I don't have to decide at the end, now this is it, or that was it, or that is Kundry. But I can show, no, she is that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And I think, especially in our staging, it's so easy to follow the character. Not only me, also the other characters, because I think it's, it's, it's clear and, and uh, the audience will, will live in our mind at some point.